Hi guys, just a quick one before the video starts. Got something stupid rare. Really amazing to show you at the end of this video. It's my, it's probably my favourite Ammonite in my collection, to be honest. It's, uh, it's an absolute cracker, so stick around to the end and watch that, because that's good. So, hope you all enjoy. Morning everybody, new start of the day, nice location to go today, out with Liam today, we're out at uh, Robin Hood's Bay, I spent the past week trying to figure out all the strata and everything, I think I've got it down, I should get some rare ammonites today I think, should be a good one, got another good feeling, should be a, should be a good day, look at that sunrise, absolutely brilliant, alright let's get started. Look at all these, absolutely, tons. <laughs> People have been doing them just all the way up the flipping cliffs. Absolutely, loads. Never seen that many done before, quite impressive. So yeah, stick around, uh, Till the end of the video today, I've uh, brought some things up that I've pieces that I've prepped up for uh, for Liam. So once we get back to his later, I'm gonna drop him off. I'll uh, I'll show you some of them. Once a couple of really nice ammonites and uh, a really really large, uh, what I'm presuming is an ichthyosaur rib, it's quite thick, quite big, and a nice piece of shale. So it's a really nice piece. So I'll uh, I'll show you that. So stick around at the end. Hope you will enjoy. Nothing that I can really take here, but crinoid, that looks like a crown. There's some other pieces in here. Another piece here too, it's a shame it's worn away. If I'd have got to that any earlier, that could have been an absolute stunner of a piece. Devastating. Oh well. Still nice to see. Loads of uh, little crinoid ossicles, these little star shapes, would have made up the stems of them. Look at them all, absolutely packed, all pyritic, it's just sign a shale block there, a little lemonite print imprint there, yeah, pretty cool. So, got to where I've been researching, not sure whether there's going to be much more else in here, but Loads of little ammonites, possibly Gagatisserus, could be one or two others, but people know more than me. But yeah, there's a block in here in this big loose shale block. There's another piece here, another piece up there. I'm going to extract them and see if there's anything in them ones. Right. So yeah, that's, uh, that's good. Struggled up until now finding stuff, but that was exactly where I've been looking for recently research and everything it's a bit of shale it's quite weird pyritic shale so it might prep up doesn't bother me though really i mean today's more of just a just a scouting mission trying to figure everything out it's uh it's much more harder on this side of robin us bay than all the other ones that i usually collect at but you know you've got to you've got to learn you've got to understand all the geology and everything so it's all a learning curve but Hopefully something good else something else good comes from it. Beautiful day. Look at that. Glorious. Red up. Right, back to collecting. Nice waterfall. Just picked up this uh, nice shell block. Not too bad. See the other bits. Just split all them open. Nothing amazing, but we're in the bag. Why not? Don't have many bivalves, so that's a new one to add. Even more crinoid. That's all I seem to find at the minute. <laughs> oh, 
Nice big Gramoceros, that did it for Liam. Decent size, good mouth. One on the back. Hi guys, so back home later in the day, got home and I'm apparently I'm incredibly ill, so I've been as I've been asleep since then. Day went okay, nothing nothing amazing, but that was the whole point of today, just to have a look around and whatnot. Should uh, should have a better look at one next time. I'll show you some uh, some of the ammonites though that I was looking for. So yeah, I'll show you now. So this is the uh, first piece from out that way around Bogalol area. Quite a few uh, gastropods, along with, I think it's an androg, Androgonocerus maculatum, I think. And on the back, one little smaller one there. Really nice little piece. I still don't remember exactly where I picked this up, but I'm pretty confident it came from around that area. <laughs> Found it in a uh, in a box years ago, prepped it up. Could do with a reprep, to be honest, so. Might have to do that at some point. Then next up is uh, this little Gagatisserus. Really nice little piece. There's even uh, some circulid worms, which are attached to it. Really lovely little uh, calcite inlay into the uh, into the inner chambers. A little bivalve washed up on, on that one. They are really nice little ammonites. Really strong ribbing. Yeah, would have liked some of them today. I think these are what was in the uh, in the block earlier on in the video. I think I'll have to go look and and uh, ask some people because I'm not 100 percent certain on that. But yeah, these are what I'm aiming for and a few other rare ammonites. But yeah, oh, in fact, I'll show you a really nice one. So this right here. These are my prized possessions. This isn't a find by me. I got this in a uh, trade from uh, Harry, a uh, well-known collector, Yorkshire collector, who mainly collects on the Holderness, but obviously he gets things in trade. So I believe this came from the same area. And it's an Etiodoroceros. I mean, look at them spines. The, most of these have been, uh, been attached on. Absolute unbelievable ammonite. The spines further down here, like this one, and these ones down here, they're all real, but the ones that are further up, they've been made with uh, milliport or something like that. But yeah, got this in a trade with Harry, traded a lot of stuff for this, because they are really, really rare. They're an absolute ridiculous ammonite. This is an unbelievable piece. I mean, look at that. What a piece. Yeah, you get them from that area too, but these are really rare. But yeah, these are still on my uh, on my list to uh, to find. Absolute brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> Just unbelievable. This should be uh, this should be in everybody's collection if they can find one. It's just stupid. Really nice calcite and suture marks. So yeah. Not bad. So yeah, that's uh, another one of them would be really nice. <laughs> Chances of getting one are not very high, but you keep looking, they'll, they'll crop up, but you'll find them. It's only a matter of time. So yeah, uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Not not the best of hunt, but hope the, uh, the end ammonites at the end make up for it. Got some uh, more prep videos coming out this week. Got a cool little challenge I'm setting myself, which I'm doing a video for. So that should uh, that should be good. Hopefully this I was supposed to be going out to Whitby again tomorrow actually, but it doesn't look like this uh, this cold's going away. It's not COVID luckily, tested and everything, so I'm I'm clear. But yeah, I hope this goes away soon because I feel terrible. <laughs> Don't know how I made the drive home. So yeah, like, subscribe. Comment on the videos, tell me what you think, especially that is Etiodoroceros, because that's an absolute corker of an ammonite. So cheers guys, thanks for watching. Oh, and thank you for 200 subscribers. That's gone up really quick out of nowhere over the past few days. Don't know where everybody's come from, come from but thank you. And 
hopefully I'll have more news on these starfish soon soon. I'm going to the Natural History Museum in a week and a half to drop it off. So hopefully we'll have some more, uh, more better news then. So thanks, see you later.